This presentation provides a quick overview of the mobile service management application that can be used with the service module in Cloud Suite Industrial and Business. This disclaimer is being presented because some of the information we are going to share and things we are going to show are still under development and could change prior to the product being generally available. We will start by giving a quick overview of the features functions included in the mobile service management. Uh, mobile service management is a native mobile solution that will run on both Apple and Android devices. Like most mobile applications, the user will be able to download and install the solution using the Apple or Google Play Store. And once installed, most of the configuration is done directly on the mobile device with little to no additional setup in the back office servers. Mobile service management can function both online and offline, allowing the service tech to work in remote locations that may or may not have a network connection and still have access to the data they need to research issues and log transactions. The application takes advantage of device resources to improve efficiencies with communication, transportation, and data collection by integrating with the email, phone, camera, and mapping capabilities included in most devices. Mobile service management can be used by service organizations that dispatch work either by creating service appointments or assign the lead partner on SROs and incidents. In any of these workflows, when work is assigned, the text device is automatically updated with details about the work along with enough in related information to allow the service tech to research past history and see details about the equipment needed serviced. Once work is started, the technician can use the mobile device to clock on and off, track expenses incurred, collect inspection data, and close out the service work by collecting a signature and credit card authorization for the invoice that will be generated out of the back office. Now we will start the demo to show a sample flow on the mobile device. When you launch the form, you're presented with a login screen where the user can enter in their same username and credentials they would use in the back office and sign in. The first thing that occurs after login is the system will reach out to the back office and synchronize all the latest appointments, incidents, and service orders currently assigned to the partner. And then presented on the home page, the partner can see a count of each of the items as well as some general information to know if they are online or offline. To start this example of a service flow, we will click on the service orders button, which gives a listing of the current service orders scheduled for this partner, broken down by day. From here, the user can select the top one, let's use 90 day forklift example, and go into it and start to perform service. He can look at a list and get information about the customer, the contact, he can even email the contact if he wants to let the contact know that he's en route. In addition, the technician can change the status of the SRO to travel to indicate that he's on his way to the customer. We can see this in the back office from the scheduling board that the dispatcher can go and refresh or the this board will refresh automatically and we'll see the appointment turn from blue to green because the status changed on the mobile device. Back on the mobile device, the user can also use the mapping functionality to find the best route to the to the customer's location. Get turn by turn directions. And once they get on site, they can change the status to working on site. So if we go back and look at the dispatch board once again, we'll see the schedule or the appointment change from green to a different color to indicate that they're now on site working. To begin the on-site service, the technician will click on the clock on button so that you can allow the system to track the amount of time that he's on site for uh, recording labor. Uh, you can look at the SRO to see more details about the equipment that he's here to service. Uh, you can scroll down and you can look at the configuration information to see the indented uh, unit configuration of the components that make up the equipment. Uh, you can go in and you can log materials that he used while performing the service. He needs to look up an item. 
capability to use the keyboard to type in and it'll do a search on the item master. You can also log miscellaneous expenses. So there's a field purchase for $25 paid for by the employee so that he can be reimbursed at a later time. If the equipment requires an inspection, the technician can go to the inspection and see the different readings that are required. You can see here they're color coded, green is passed and red is failed. We also have the ability to enter in an adjusted value uh, to bring the equipment back into compliance. At this point, let's look at the steps a service tech can take to close out an SRO. He can take a picture of the equipment using the device's camera, which will automatically attach it to the service order. He can also hit the clock off, which will automatically calculate the amount of time the technician was on site and create a labor transaction. He can also present the customer with a work order that will show a breakdown of the material labor and miscellaneous expenses incurred, as well as capture the customer signature that can be uploaded to the back office. So if we go into the back office, we can take a look at that service order. where we can see the signature was captured. And if we look underneath the documents for the service order, you can see the picture of the equipment that was uploaded. All available to your back office staff when talking to the customer in the future. This was just one example of how mobile service management can be used to perform field service work. As mentioned earlier, work can also be dispatched to field personnel by creating appointments for the technicians or assign the lead partner on an incident. In addition to the activities demo, there's also a slide out menu that contains other commonly used functions such as viewing item availability across warehouses to allow field tech to check inventory on other partners that might be in the area, as well as accessing a list of partners to assist with communication between technicians. This concludes our quick demonstration of the mobile service management functionality. Thank you for watching.